Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation Chapter 17 Mysterious Woman Top Quality Medicine Quadrant Xiao Chen turned to take a look and saw an old man. This old man seemed to be very alert and energetic. Xiao Chen tried, but he could not recall the name of this person. Thus, he could not help but ask our suspicions. You are? That old man laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Perhaps young Master Cell does not recognize this old man. I am the owner of this shop. My humble surname is Ma. Xiao Chen smiled gently. So, it is both Ma. I am indeed thinking of purchasing a quality medicine cauldron. But the goods in your shop just seem to be average. Boss Ma laughed loudly. Since young Master Xiao does not fancy any of these cauldrons, how about you follow me to the back to take a look? Go to the back and take a look? Xiao Chen immediately turned vigilant. In his memories, he did not recall having any contact with this Boss Ma. Why would Boss Ma suddenly invite him inside for no reasons? What intentions did he have? Although he needed a good medicine cauldron, he could not help but feel suspicious. In that case, Boss Ma, please lead the way. Xiao Chen smiled gently. His desire for a good medicine cauldron outweighed the suspicions that he had. However, he still remained on guard and at the first sign of any trouble, he would immediately leave. Boss Ma led Xiao Chen past the crowds and headed upstairs. After arriving upstairs, he could see that the goods displayed on the second floor were of a much higher quality than downstairs. Xiao Chen even spotted some spirit weapons. The prices here were high. Thus, there were many who were just browsing and only a few that were buying. Boss Ma gently smiled and continued to lead the way. They continued on until they reached the fourth floor. From the second floor onwards, there were fewer and fewer people. When they arrived on the fourth floor, there were virtually no one around. The decorations on the fourth floor were extremely luxurious. Despite this, the fact that there were no display shelves made Xiao Chen feel suspicious. Only a youth dressed in embroidered clothes stood at the window with his back facing away from the wall, uh, looking down at the streets below. When that youth heard their footsteps, he turned and smiled. It's been tough, Boss Ma. Have a rest first, I will attend to this guest. His voice was melodious, natural, graceful and delicate like the sound of a wind chime. Boss Ma gently nodded his head and bowed before he withdrew. That youth quickly walked over and said to Xiao Chen, It was presumptuous of me to do this. Forgive me if I have offended you. After Xiao Chen saw the appearance of this person more clearly, he smiled gently in his heart. This youth wearing embroidered clothes was actually a girl cross-dressing. Her facial features were picturesque, and she had white teeth and twinkling eyes, though the male clothing she wore gave her an heroic air. Xiao Chen smiled. Since when did Moha City have a beauty like you? I actually did not realize that. The girl smiled. She did not mind Xiao Chen's teasing. Young Master Xiao must be joking. I have heard of your distinguished reputation. And upon seeing you for myself, I must say it seems true. Xiao Chen's suspicions deepened in his heart. She knew of his reputation, but she was still so courteous towards him. What was the origin of this girl? Without changing his expression, he smiled gently and said, I still have not asked you for your name yet. Feng Fei Xue Feng Fei Xue. Xiao Chen mentally muttered that name a few times. He was sure that this girl was not from Moher City. Thinking of this possibility, he still did not change his expression. So, it is Miss Feng. Well, I shall cut to the chase. 
Show me the medicine cauldron. Feng Feixue's great lips parted and laughed lightly, looking extremely alluring. Young Master Cell is really impatient, and here I was prepared to chat with you for quite a while. When she finished saying that, she waved her hand and four strangely shaped medicine cauldrons appeared out of nowhere on the wooden table nearby. Xiao Shan was shocked because she was actually using a special ring. It looks like this girl had a great background. Even a regular martial saint might not get the chance to use a special ring. Soon, his surprise turned into amazement and his gaze was quickly attracted to the four medicine cauldrons on the wooden table. These four medicine cauldrons all had different shapes and were obviously saturated with spiritual energy. Xiao Chen was sure that these medicine cauldrons were alloyed with moonstone and that they were not just alloyed with a bit of moonstone powder. Otherwise, its color and spiritual energy would not be so dense. Amongst them was an Azure Dragon Medicine Cauldron that attracted his attention. This cauldron stood on three legs, and there were two vivid and lifelike Azure Dragons entrenched together on its body. One of the dragon heads was for inputting the fire, and the other was for outputting the pills. The handicraft of the person who made this cauldron was very good, and the carving of the Azure Dragon was extremely expressive. It looked like it was about to come to life. Xiao Chen held it in his hand and played around with it for a little, eventually asking, Can I give this medicine cauldron a test run? Feng Feixue was a little shocked in her heart. Could he be an alchemist? Was this medicine cauldron for his own use? It looked like her earlier assumption might be wrong. Without changing her expression, she said, No problem. Please, go ahead. Xiao Chen placed the medicine cauldron on the table and used his consciousness to condense a ball of purple flames with his right hand. He then slowly pushed the flames down into the cauldron and carefully controlled the purple flames to enter the medicine cauldron. When it completely entered the cauldron, he released control of it and let the purple flames burn ferociously. Xiao Chen carefully observed the medicine cauldron. The azure colored medicine cauldron did not express any changes under the heat of the purple flames. Its spiritual energy was still incomparable like before. After letting the purple flame burn for a while, Xiao Chen could feel his essence diminishing. He hurriedly retrieved the purple flames and calmed the fluctuations of spiritual energy in his body. Xiao Chen picked up the Azure Dragon Cauldron and took a closer look. The outsides of the medicine cauldron was not hot. After he opened the cauldron lid, a stream of hot air came out. Xiao Chen seemed to have seen a formless Azure Dragon rising up into the air. He sniffed the inside of the cauldron, and the air in there was dry and pleasant. There were no strange odors. Xiao Chen felt incomparably amazed in his heart. This was exactly what he needed. If he only needed an ordinary medicine cauldron, then there were plenty of, in, of them in the Xiao clan. It was a pity that under the refinement of the Purple Thunder True Fire, those ordinary medicine cauldrons would start to have cracks after a short while. Those cauldrons were not suitable for refining medicine. He had not held much hope when he came to this shop. Thus, he had only brought a piece of moonstone with him. If he could not find a suitable one, he would use this piece of moonstone to refine one. He did not expect to be able to find a cauldron to his liking in Regretful Island. Iron. Xiao Chen smiled. Miss Feng, I wonder how much you want for this medicine cauldron. Feng Feishue picked up the Azure Dragon Medicine Cauldron and toyed with it in her hand for a while, not giving Xiao Chen a direct answer. Alchemists are one of the most respected professions in the Tianwu continent. Undeniably, a top quality medicine cauldron is not the most important thing to an alchemist. 
Medicine cauldrons can be classified into five grades. Does Young Master Cell know about this? There were definitely differences in the quality of medicine cauldrons, but Xiao Chen had not heard about the classifications of five grades before. So, he shook his head and said, Please, elaborate. 